So with that said, I want to do something that my students used to really appreciate. They used to love for me to address bullshit. Whether the bullshit was coming from uh, their community, whether the bullshit was coming from online, or whether the bullshit was coming from another teacher. Uh, especially my students who were, who were already aware of what was going on, or maybe they were watching the news with uh, the parent or grandparent or some shit like that, or, or they were really gravitating towards the shit we were discussing in the class. They used to love to bring that shit to me away and I just break that shit down for them. So let's clear up some bullshit right now. Some of these bullshit arguments that motherfuckers are throwing at the movement right now. Let's take this one. Black on black crime. That's bullshit. First of all, people harm who they are around. And since this country is still largely segregated, yes, black people harm other black people. Secondly, most of the violence in our communities is, uh, I'm talking the black community, most of the, uh, the violence in our black communities uh, stems from poverty, which is a legacy of slavery and Jim Crow. Study after study fucking shows that. That ain't just me talking. Everybody out there, you should go watch The Racial Wealth Gap Explained. It's on YouTube and it's on Netflix. It's only 16 minutes long. It is must watch. You must watch it. If I was still in the classroom, I guarantee I would show it every single year because it shows the plight of black people in this country where you can be absolutely elite and you still be behind a, a, a white person who's not elite. You can be busting your motherfucking ass and be uh, 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 having three degrees and working your ass off and more or less a motherfucker and then this average ass son of a bitch still got more money than you. That's the plight we face. So a lot of the shit, the violence that you might see on the news, a lot of that shit is gang related and drug related because these motherfuckers dead broke out here and they turned to that shit. And that's what it is. But if you really want to talk about some goddamn uh, violence, you got to turn to World War I and World War II. Where millions of people, including civilians, killed. Why? Because in World War I, a motherfucker by the name of uh, uh, Francis Ferdinand get popped. In a country where the motherfuckers didn't like him because they didn't want to be colonized by his people. So we got to have a world war behind that shit. Where millions of people die. And you got to send motherfuckers over here to make the world safe for democracy. Bullshit. Oh, let's try World War II. So millions of motherfuckers got to die because this bitch with a funny mustache decide he want to take over the fucking world. Oh, we got a land dispute? That sound like some gang shit to me. That sound like the, the Bloods and the Crip or the goddamn uh, Vice Lords and the G goddamn uh, uh, beefing and shooting each other over who blocked this here. So we got to die behind this motherfucker? Millions? Or because uh, Japan and the United States could not uh, 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 really come to terms on who's going to dominate the Pacific? Like either one of them needed to dominate that motherfucker anyway? So millions got to die behind that. Let's quit bullshit. See, violence on behalf of the gov government is okay. To kill on behalf of the government is appreciated, rewarded, um, celebrated even. So, they knock down uh, uh, the Twin Towers. And so we got to go get revenge and kill these motherfuckers about that. 
I'm not saying I was against the mission. I'm not saying I was against uh, 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 the actions in World War II. I'm just laying it out here. All I'm saying is, goddamn, pick the shit now. What we saying? Cause when a brother uh, is in the neighborhood and, a, and somebody else from another neighborhood kills his friend and he retaliates, we call this motherfucker a monster. But when motherfuckers uh, uh, that we don't know come kill some other motherfuckers that we don't know, you tell the boys to go strap up, get your AR-15 and go kill them to protect people that you don't know. You expect folks to have patriotism, but don't expect people to have loyalty to their friends. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. But on that same note, I saw a motherfucker say, black lives uh, don't matter when it's black people killing black people. Black lives only matter when it's white people killing black people. Do you motherfuckers? I need to stop. I'm not talking to them motherfuckers. A wise man told me don't argue with fools. People from a distance can't tell who is who. So I'm talking to my youngins and I'm talking to my allies. So I apologize. If they hit you with this bullshit, you make sure you remind them that black people grieve as well when a life is taken at the hands of another black person. We grieve for them as well. Those who oppose us might not notice that because that shit don't matter to them. To them it may just be the, uh, another nigga dead, the niggas killing each other again. But we mourn for them as well. We address that shit as well. We address that shit in our schools. You know how many fights I've broken up? In my career? Know how many times I told these young brothers to stop back there beefing and shit over bullshit? Know how many times I told these young sisters don't be online uh, 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 arguing back and forth and adding each other like Trump? We address this shit. We address it. We try to steer our kids away from games. We try to steer our kids away from selling drugs and from uh, 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 using drugs. We ain't just uh, 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 bitching about police brutality and then not saying nothing about the own ills of our community. Shit, in my uh, uh, hometown of Kent, they had a, 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 a stop the violence march. When one of my former students allegedly killed a little baby, I spoke at uh, an event about us doing something about violence in our communities. None of our opposers were there. You didn't pay attention to that shit. You only pay attention when we complain about the police because you want to uphold what the police are doing. Quit using this shit against them. Quit using it. We address that shit amongst ourselves. Go listen to a Malcolm X speech. Malcolm X, yeah, you, you, he get down on a white man for what he done, but shit, he be fussing at the black folks equally. We address ourselves. Our allies. I ain't talk to the fuck boy. They ain't gonna do it. But our allies, make sure you are addressing the ills of your community as well. Make sure you're taking the lead in your schools and in your churches as well in your synagogues. Just like we do, we check each other, I promise you we do. In our schools, in our churches, in our mosques, and online. But our allies, you gotta address y'all, your, your, uh, uh, your problems when it comes to white supremacy. You gotta address that shit in your schools. When your schools are, are building up George Washington and shit, if they're going to talk about him being so courageous in the Revolutionary War, they also need to point out that he was a goddamn slave owner. When they talk about Thomas Jefferson writing about uh, uh, how all men are created equal and shit, they need to also point out he's a motherfucking slave owner. They need to point just tell the fucking truth. Tell the truth. When they talk about Andrew Jackson, talk about how he was 
the first common man type president. And he also tell how he, he signed the Indian Removal Act. And he tell the fucking truth. Tell it. Because we have to deal with that shit. Check that shit. Check yourself. Talk to my ally. If you call yourself an ally of black people and you voted for Donald Trump, then you also voted for white supremacy. And I don't, I don't say that shit lightly, but it is what it is. Because that's what the fuck the man stood for compared to all those other motherfuckers he was running against. Because what he's doing right now in this moment is not new. The man was a leader in the Bertha movement. Uh, the motherfucker when he came down that goddamn escalator and announced he was running for president. What made headlines? When he said that uh, Mexico is not sending us their best people. Uh, they're sending the thugs and rapists. And I assume some of them are good people. That's what he said. That's what he said. Also during the campaign, he told black people, what do you have to lose? That shit was so insulting. That, that, that statement basically said to black people, you ain't shit, you ain't got shit, so you might as well vote for me. That's what he did. That's what he said. That's basically what he was saying. While he was in office, he called neo-Nazis fine people. Now, I mentioned World War II earlier. And all these so-called patriotic motherfuckers like to bring up World War II and shit when we face down the Nazis and shit. But when this son bitch calls neo-Nazis fine people, that shit was okay. To many. And now, of course, he's quoting a, a segregationist. And failed presidents like Richard Nixon with his coded language talking about he's the law and order president. See, Richard Nixon used that bullshit in 1968. No, you still had civil rights movement going on, uh, but it had become more militant. You got the Panthers doing their thing. Uh, you also had uh, uh, students out in the streets protesting against uh, 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 the failed Vietnam War. Uh, so this motherfucker, uh, uh, Richard Nixon, called himself speaking to uh, the silent majority. You heard Trump try to use that shit as well. Called himself speaking to middle America uh, uh, and that he's the law and order president. You know what that shit is cold for? That I'm going to keep the niggas in line. That's what he's trying to say. That's what he's trying to say. And also... <laughs> When the, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. When the looting starts, the shooting starts. But the most celebrated looters in the history of this country are those motherfuckers who took part in the Boston Tea Party. Every teacher who teaches early American history has to cover that shit. And every history book writes about it like it was one of the most courageous, rebellious acts. But when motherfuckers are outraged and they take to the streets and they do whatever. Because um, they watched a man be lynched by a police officer, a motherfucker who's supposed to serve and protect them. It's when the looting starts, the shooting starts. So I ask our allies, our white allies, if you voted for this man, check yourself, please. Check yourself, please. Don't say you voted for him for the tax cuts. All those motherfucking Republican candidates were offering tax cuts. Don't say you voted for him because he was anti-abortion because out of all the candidates, he might have been the motherfucker that flip flopped on that shit the most. You can go look it up. He was pro-choice once upon a time. All of them were saying they were going to appoint Supreme Court judges that were anti-Roe v. Wade. Don't say you voted for him because uh, he vowed to deregulate shit. All those motherfuckers were saying they were going to deregulate. 
but it was Donald Trump who was the most anti-Obama with the birth of shit. It was Donald Trump who was the most anti-Latino by promising to build a wall and make Mexico pay for it. That's what pushed him over the top. So a vote for him was a vote for white supremacy. If you're a white ally of ours, please check yourself. But still on the topic of black on black crime as this argument against uh, our stance on police violence. <laughs> if I was to go murder another black person on camera, I would go to fucking prison. I'm going to prison. If I go do exactly what that bitch ass cop did on camera, and I did it to uh, another black person, hell if I did it to a Latino, if I did it to an Asian person, definitely if I did it to a white person, I'm going to fucking prison and I live in Mississippi so I'm getting the fucking death penalty. These cops are getting acquitted. Still, they're arrested and charged. If they're arrested and charged, they're getting acquitted. They're getting away with this shit. That's the difference. So quit bringing that shit up. Quit bringing that shit up. Sometimes there are murders in, that, that happen in our community that go unpunished. Uh, but you know what? They chop that up too. <laughs> We're gonna let them kill themselves off. I had a black police officer tell me that. I had a, I had a former student who his life was being threatened in the streets. I told the police officer what was going on. Police officer got down, put his pad away. He said, we wait on those kind to kill themselves off. I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. But when it comes to these police killing us, they getting away with this shit. If these guys would do this shit and be promptly arrested, not just this bullshit uh, uh, fire to put on leave. I'm talking about you kill a goddamn uh, person in custody. I don't give a fuck what color they are. You kill a person in custody. You ain't the, the, the police. They are not a, 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 a judge and jury. We have due process of law in this motherfucking country. So if they kill somebody in custody, they supposed to goddamn be arrested and be charged with murder. If that's what would happen, we wouldn't be in the streets. Wouldn't be doing this shit. So quit bringing up the black on black crime bullshit. Because that's exactly what it is. Bullshit.